Hello folks, it is Wayward Echo here, and today we are going to talk about Alpha 19.5 and the Twitch integration again. And we're going to rapidly talk through what exactly this integration is and what it can do. We're going to talk about how to install it, how you enable it, how your community can get in there and either help you out or completely wreck your game and give you a hard time. And then we're going to talk about all the various modifications we can make to change how cooldowns work, how different abilities are available at different times and all that stuff. So let's get straight on into it. So first thing you must know is how to get to Alpha 19.5 as it is the latest experimental build. If you're watching this after this fact, you can probably just go to 19.5 or 20 if that's available. So you're gonna come right here into good old Steam and you're going to right click properties. That's gonna pull up this lovely little window here. Under this, you've got betas down here. And in this, you're going to click it and you're going to go all the way to the bottom and you are going to select latest experimental build and you will click out of here and then you are done. If you didn't already have it installed, you'll see it start to do an update and then you should be good to go with 19.5. Now that we have 19.5 installed, the common question I get is who can use this? How do I enable this? So you can use this for single player player to player, multiplayer, on a server, any of those work. If you're on a server, you must hold a valid permission level on the host. The default is going to be 90 and you've got to be registered with Twitch and that is all you need. So you say, what if I don't want to do this? Uh, I'm in a party with someone and I just don't want the madness to infect me. Well, you can opt out. That is an option you'll have in your menu to say, Thanks, I'll let my party be, you know, trolled by everybody, but not me. So let's just talk about how we bring up Twitch and connect this all in. So all you have to do to get this connected to Twitch with your 19.5 is hit escape, go to options, go to Twitch, and then you're going to have your ability to log in here. You're gonna click log in, and I'm not gonna show this, but on another screen, it's gonna bring up your authorization with Twitch, which you will go through. And once you click that, it will give you an extended menu here. So I'll go quickly through the different um, settings you have here, allow visual effects. There's some visual effects that can do some really nasty stuff, blurs the screen, gives you double vision, uh, turns the screen gray, some other things along those lines. If those are just too troublesome for you, you can turn that off and say, no, no, thank you. I don't want that. All right, we're going to leave those on for right now. And next, actions during a blood moon. So this lets you decide how you want to play in terms of, nah, no thanks. I don't want any actions during a blood moon. Uh, or you can allow the standard actions during a blood moon. Um, or you can allow the actions that are only available during countdown. So that allows you to switch up how your game is played. The next point here is how many free points you're going to award. This is the whole method of how your community gains points. So someone hops in your chat and they say, hey, Echo, what's going on? The moment they start talking to you there, uh, they're going to start getting one point every 10 seconds. Um, if they are a subscriber, they'll get double that. So depending upon how you want to play this, if you want them to get points faster so they can help you or hinder you faster, then you can up that to double or triple. All right, next is use player progression. So this is an option to decide whether the actions are all available or if you want them to become available as your game stage increases. I highly recommend going with yes. Uh, this allows you know you to be able to handle the, the insanity that they're throwing at you based off of the game level that you are currently playing at. They did a lot of tweaking in this and the testing if you watched any of this stuff with Layton. Uh, so this is set up pretty well, but if you wanna play with it, you absolutely can. The next, global cooldown. So this has three or four settings, I think. So always cooldown means that uh, people can just go to town whenever they want. You've got longer cooldown. This is a 10 minute cooldown, which will just give you more time between when people can start uh, executing actions. You've got the default, which is a five minute. The shorter is a three minute. And then again, you can do no cooldown. Um, and I reverse the last bit of that. The always cooldown is mean that you're always in a cooldown phase. The action cooldown modifier, uh, this sets the individual command 
cooldowns. This is so that someone can't spam you with, you know, 15 barrels, feral zombies one after the other. So you can either say, you know, we're going to increase the cooldown, or if you want to make it harder on yourself, you can reduce that cooldown all the way down to no cooldown at all. Okay. So we'll leave that at default right now. Next, the pimp pot. So this is a fantastic thing, and I'll show you on the screen how this works. But this is the ability for a pool to build up over time, and whoever in your stream manages to successfully kill you gets a lump of points to further engage in the activities here with the integration. So there's two methods of doing it. There's enable the, the PP, the pimp pot, um, and then there's enable SP. So these are two types of points you can gain. So the pimp points are specific to the current stream that you're doing. The special points are earned through, and it'll probably tell you over here, through bits, um, and other things like that where, where they're actually having to pay to get those points. And those persist in your channel, so they'll be able to use those at a later stage. Um, lastly, is just a simple one, allow crate stealing. This is when you drop supply crates uh, as a command uh, from, from your community, and you can either have it set to yes or no. So this allows you, if you have it set to no, that makes sure that whoever gets a crate dropped on them from the community gets the, the goodies that are in that. So that covered the standard configuration options that you have, and now I will walk you through the menu that you're going to see on the screen. So on the right side of the screen, you're going to see this menu. Up the top, it's going to have an indicator whether it's ready or in cooldown. That's going to be the indication of whether the folks in your Twitch channel can execute commands against you. The next, you're gonna have a bar here that as commands are executed, this is gonna turn red. And when it hits the top, you're gonna to enter back into your cooldown phase based off of whatever your setting was. Next, you have the option to pause action and that just shuts down actions uh, if you needed a break for whatever reason. Uh, next, you have uh, this cog wheel that'll let you go into some additional details that I'll walk through in just a second. Over here is your total pimp pot that you have. You'll see this grow over time. Each time someone executes a command, a fraction of that will come into here. And this is what's available for your community. Whoever gets that final killing blow from their spawned creature that murders you, they are going to get that in either pimp points or in special points, depending upon how you set that in the settings below. Down here, you're gonna see the current available supplies, buffs, debuffs, spawns, and it'll just keep rotating through so that you can see them. It's gonna have the command so your community knows exactly what uh, to type into Twitch chat. Uh, and then you'll see these cycle through the different types. Um, if you are targeting someone, you're just gonna do the command space and then their name. It's just that simple. And that's how this functions. So next, the cog wheel here that I mentioned just a second ago is going to give you a deeper menu to look through. The first, first tab on this is gonna be the actions. Then we can see a history of the actions that have occurred. Next, we have the leaderboard, and this is the kills that your community has gotten against you. Uh, we'll go back to the actions here. So this further breaks out into all the spawns that can come in. And for each of these, you can click in and find additional information. So if I wanna look here at Cop Zombie and see what game stage, I can see that that's gonna be available starting at game stage 35. I'll see the cooldown, I'll see the point cost associated, and I'll get into this later, but all these values here are editable through the twitch.xml. And I'll show you where to find that and, and how you can make quick modifications. So the next one you have on here are all the supply crates. And again, you'll see it's gonna have different game stages and that's gonna indicate the level of the supply crate that you'll get. Um, and, you know, just means that there will be better, better goodies in there. Then we've got all the buffs here. We've got all the debuffs listed here. So you can fiddle through all those. And then lastly, all the special items. And then another key point that I'll uh, toss out on this, you should check through the tips here. There's some really good information in these tips. Uh, you know, this will give you the details around the pimp pot, 
uh, party actions and how those are affected. Safe zones, this is another good one. Um, so land claim blocks, as well as being at the trader, will will change the status over here to safe, which means that folks cannot trigger actions on you or your team. Um, this will give you the details around earning points. So yeah, tab through these. This will give you all the good details um, if you're just looking for some extra information. So how does this look when you put it all together? Here is Lathan and Rick and Joel from the Fun Pimps doing a quick playthrough on Twitch. And you can see the community here is starting to give them some goodies. And they are also starting to drop in a number of soldiers and other nasty baddies to, to give them a hard time. So this is what it starts to look like in real time. And you can see the, the bar is starting to fill up under the ready as people are executing commands. Additionally, as more commands are being executed, you're seeing that pimp pot go up. Here comes a vulture coming in. Lathan thinks he's safe here. He's climbing back up top and oh, and now the community hits them with the blur. This is what I was talking about in terms of the visual cues, makes it much harder to get around. You can see the focus on Lathan's face as he backs away. Watching health tick back up. This moment he's wondering, is my community going to murder me? So he backs away, takes a few shots. And just as he does, he watches the fun pimp take a fall. He's a man down. He goes for some healing. He's feeling a little weak, a little lonely. And then the community closes in on him. Yeah, I'm dead. And it ends. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But for me, this looks like an amazing way to engage with your community and have a ton of fun and back and forth engagement. So as I promised, I will give you a quick walkthrough on how to find and edit the XML file. If you guys have enjoyed this, please drop a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, really, really appreciate it. And uh, without further ado, let's swap on over and take a look at the XML file. All right. Really easy to get this. You're gonna pull up your Steam client up here. You're gonna find your seven days to die on your right side. You're gonna right click properties. And from here, you're gonna go into your local files and you're gonna browse. All right, once that comes up, you're gonna grab the data folder and then you're gonna go down to the config folder. In here, you'll notice that my icons look probably differently than yours. That's gonna be based off of whatever XML editor you have installed. If you don't have one, just Google up XML editor and you will find 20 gazillion of them for free. So I'm going to come down here to the twitch.xml file. That's the one we want to look at. And once you're in here, uh, you can see a list of all the commands, spawns, supplies, all those different character, you know, characteristics that you can modify. So if I look, look here, I've got a tough feral zombie and I can modify the game stage, the cost, um, the cooldown. And all I gotta do to change it is come in here, click, click the number that I want, and you've updated it here, and I control S to save it back, and you've modified your twitch.xml. Now, I'm sure moving forward that people will come out with a ton of these that you can take a look at and play with to change game style um, and just switch up how this, this integration allows you to work with your community. So hope you guys have enjoyed this and I will see you on the next one. Thanks, Echo out.